all boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, voice of hardcore boxing. I'm just on my way to Leeds for a night out with, my, with a friend of mine. So, uh, I'm going to do a quick video before I get there regarding Dillian White's comments that I've seen on boxing scene. Oh my god, oh my god. I've seen them day before anyway, so they've just nicked the story, haven't they? But people keep sending it me today, it's shocking, isn't it? He didn't get knocked out. No, no. Got straight up. Ref counter to six and a seven, and that was that. Please what? take the third exit at the roundabout. What a load of old rubbish. You got sparkles. Sparkles. When you get sparkled, that's it. You just got to come out and say, I got sparks. Well, he didn't get beat up and all that. Well, he got softened up, didn't he, to the body by Povetkin. He softened him up, didn't he? That's what I thought he did. He softened him and then finished him off with an uppercut. I don't want to hear all this about Lucky Punch from Johnny Massive Willie no, Nelson. I don't want to hear about it off him. Old Johnny Nelson, the company man. He had to get in on act, didn't he? The propaganda and bias was out of control, like I said, but Gillian White needs to understand that he got iced. He got iced. Proper iced. And that's just how it goes. When you get iced, you've just got to accept it. You accept what happens and you move on, don't you? And I think as soon as he accepts it, I think he'll be alright. But if he don't accept it, I think it'll happen again. I don't think David Price accepted it, did he, when he fought Tony Thompson? They threw him straight back in, you know why? Greed. Do you remember what I said to you about greed? It reaches into the core of people. That's what greed does. Reaches into the core of people. For example, look at Coogan's sponsors. William Hill, good sponsor. But he's also got a company sponsoring him. Debt for dads or something. What's all that about? Must have done all the money in at William Hills. Need advice, so Coogan's playing both sides at field. Just like he is when he goes to Dave Colwell and says, what are you got to say about Mark Tibbs and Dillian splitting up? Or when he goes to Frank and Eddie and back and forward, playing everybody. So, be real, Coogan, be yourself. Be yourself. But, uh <laughs> Somebody's just sent me something here that's really funny actually. I'm gonna pull up up here and I'm gonna put it on channel. Uh, I don't know where this is gonna go out because I'm going up to Newcastle after tomorrow. And I don't know when I'll be back. Get him here all over the road here. That's a foreigner that in a in a truck. He's gonna end up crashing him, but not on me. But uh I feel for Dillian White a little tiny bit because sometimes when you get stubborn you think you know, you know what you're on with. I seen that interview Coldwell did when he were rimming that Xavier or whoever and saying certain trainers are perfect fit for people and Coldwell why were you trying to have a dig about people pulling you about being a snake and fighters getting knocked out? More of your fighters have been knocked out than anybody. Oh, they want perfect fit for me. No, but it's how you suck up to fighters, Caldwell, and tap them up behind scenes. You forgot to mention that, didn't you? Dave Caldwell. How you're texting fighters and telling them what they should be doing and they're doing this good and all that and playing the game. I find it sneaky and irritating. You wouldn't text Yui Fury, would you? Or tweet Yui Fury telling him that he's got a good job and he's a good mover and that and that if he needed any help you're always there for him you wouldn't text that to you would you do you know why yeah you know why don't you right you wouldn't be texting you or tweeting you would you but why are you tweeting Dillian two years ago and working your ticket you're a sneaky little you know don't you you know you know sneaky 
So don't try and have a pop at me because of what I say on my channel, mate. Because nobody's got gojones like me in boxing. Nobody, let me tell you, or YouTubers. They're not going to say what I say, mate, let me tell you. Jog on, mate. I've got an indicator on in your truck. I'll smoke you back. I'll pip you when I go back down there in a minute, Pratt. So don't you be uh, getting tasty with me and your little digs, Caldwell. All right. Yeah, Bell, you didn't leave. You only because you had your own wages. You won't get in 10%, mate, will you? Do you know what I mean? But uh, let me just play this here for you. Let me just play this. That's not on that one. I'm trying to think who had it now. Could be your fucking day here, this way. sent me that now, would it have sent me that? I get that much scent? Somebody's sending me something about Charlie Giles. Good old Charlie Giles, eh? Good old Charlie. He's one of your own, isn't he, Charlie Giles? Charlie, mine's a double whiskey then. Russ, cut it bar, get Charlie a double whiskey. Good old Charlie Giles, one of your own, aren't you, Charlie? Eh? One of your own. I don't know where that's gone now. I think it were. Point I want to make though is boxing's the hardest sporting world, and people have to get bigger in respect for being boxers. But don't be snide when you're a boxing trainer trying to snide it up with other fighters because that don't wash with me. I don't like stuff like that, Coldwell. I don't like you anyway, and you know why I don't like you. You know, don't you? You know what you did. So don't try and have a dig at me in your videos, mate. Saying that, well, people, the negative, and I only want to talk about positivity. I want to talk about positivity as well, mate, but I don't want to talk, I don't want to uh, be being positive when there's sneaks like you sneaking about, tapping fighters up, but not tapping and befriending them. Do you know what I mean? I have a problem with that. I have a massive, massive problem with that. Massive problem. I have a massive problem with it, I don't know why, I just do, I just have a massive problem with it, but uh, it's one of them things, here we are, here we are, got ya, K official. on about this thousand day thing it's like saying La Cosa Nostra isn't it it just rolls off tongue now doesn't it this thousand day thing it look let me let me just show you this for the last time because I'm gonna end up with an also you know me I'm not very tech minded am I but listen these people right 
there's no beef there they're just doing it for effect all the time in case they have to fight down the line but they're just pulling everybody's chain that's all they're doing that's all they're doing they're just pulling everybody's chain everybody's there you go this is 1019 days ago there you go WBC rankings 1019 days ago Dylan White number three Dylan White number three, Ortiz two, Bermain Stavern number one. Wilder took belt off Stavern, didn't he? And when he fought him again, Stavern were, were number one, won he? So how can we criticise Wilder for fighting Stavern twice, WBC champion and number one contender, Ortiz twice, number one contender both times, and Tyson Fury, Lanille champion, so he keeps telling us. So he's fought him twice, so the point I want to make is nobody can criticise Wilder's CE, but getting back to Tony Bellew, they're just reading off the matchroom script, aren't they? It's bullshit, utter bullshit. And Caldwell, you know that, don't you? But you're not going to come out and say it. You know that, Coogan Cassius, as well. I don't see you doing interviews, Coogan, saying, oh, Dylan, you're wrong about that thousand day thing, because look, you're number three. They're not going to say that, are they, because they're not allowed, are they? They've got to push all things match them. You can't be one or other. You can't keep doing one or other. You've got to be your own person. That's why I'm my own person. That's why I'm at it with Dennis all the time. Because I don't agree with some of the things that go on. And I'm going to say some of it. And he knows that. So, but I always love Dennis. With all my heart. But some of the things he does I don't like. But nobody else is there to tell him. Only if I don't say anything. That's how it goes. But, uh Coogan, William Hill and Debt for Dads. Yeah, just mentioned that, haven't we? People go on about me. We we ads on channel, fucking hell. I thought this what YouTube gives me a month, it wouldn't put half a tank in this. Right, see, it wasn't sparked. We've mentioned that. Uh, K official tweet video, well then he sent me it. I think that's about it really. I'm just all ready for the so tomorrow now, so I can have a good night tonight now in Leeds. So just keep it real people that's all I'm saying keep it real don't listen to utter utter knackers don't listen to utter knackers because that's what we're being fed in it utter knackers stick this in boot now <laughs> so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing don't have nightmares Coogan all right Coldwell if you've got a problem don't come and see me I'm scared to death of you you frighten me <laughs>